Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This video is going to be a what's on my phone video, so I'm going to show you what apps I have on my phone. I don't feel like I have very interesting apps. They're mostly like photo editing ones and like, you know, all of that type of stuff. On my phone I have, this is my screensaver. I'm going to turn off my brightness so you can actually see it. It says no bad vibes. Then my like wallpaper thing here is just like pink. I don't even know what it is, like clouds or something. So on the first page I have like all my normal apps. I actually don't even have all my apps there. I just have like main ones. Um, Like I put a four more down at the end, but I don't. <laughs> Cause I just hate having like a hundred apps at once. So yeah, these are all the ones that I use the most. So I have my camera, Facebook, Instagram, photos, then I have utilities with like the clock and calculator and all that stuff that comes with the phone, settings, notes, I use my notes so much, I literally always write like to-do lists and ideas for videos and um, stuff like that and I also write like captions and stuff like that for um, Instagram photos if like I want to do them in advance and then I have obviously WhatsApp, Google Maps because I'd be genuinely dead without that. The rest of them are like once they come on your phone so I'm not going to bother to tell you. Messenger, Twitter, Depop. Snapchat, Spotify which is my life. I always actually use this health app because it tells you what steps you've done. Then in the next page I have my AIB mobile bank app. Very interesting. Um, but then the rest of them are the ones that are more interesting. So I have parking tag which is like that you can pay for your parking on. Um, but the rest of them are like photo editing ones which are really cool. I'd probably be dead without these. But I do most of my editing on my laptop, but like if I don't have my laptop with me and I just want to put up a pic or else some things I do on my laptop and then I'll like do other things on my phone. Just depends how I feel. So first of all I have Huji, which you all know by now it was like flipping craze over the summer everyone was like obsessed with Huji. Like every single picture on Instagram had the Huji filter I'm pretty sure you know about that. It's supposed to be like a camera from like 1998 or something like that. Like the ones that you develop. Then I have Snapseed. Snapseed is so good. I always use it to increase the brightness on the background of a photo and stuff like that because you can use like a brush tool on it and just brighten up certain areas or just put up the saturation on certain areas you can like choose which parts so sometimes I might only want to like put a bit of saturation on me so that I look a bit more tanned or something and I might not want to do that to the background it has so much other stuff on it but that's like the main thing that I use Snapseed for then I have the Olympus Share app that's because my laptop has like built in Wi-Fi so to get the photos off my camera onto my phone I can just go into that app and import them so it's really handy. Then I have Colour Tone. This app is so good, like genuinely so good. The filters in it are amazing and I haven't paid for any filters on it, like the ones that you pay for are probably way better but my favourite ones in it are Fuji and Seashells. Oh my god! Seashells is the one that I use all the time. And I just went into it now and Seachells is locked. <laughs> Excuse me? It's now 4.49 apparently. Well I've absolutely had enough. I'm gonna have to buy that unfortunately. But um, Fiji's really good as well. So is Bora Bora. But I mostly use Fiji and Seachells. Sometimes I use both of them. Like I do it on the photo. Save it. Go back into the app and do a bit of Fiji on it as well. The rest of them are really good as well. But I just haven't 
well, there's other free ones, but they're the main ones that I use. And the rest of them you have to pay for 49 for, which is very rude. I'm raging. And the next app I have is Unfold. I use this for Instagram stories pretty much all the time. I use it for stories. I usually use CS1 um, out of the free ones that come with it for stories or else I use FF1 because that's a really cool one that makes them look like has like the backgrounds that are like Polaroids and stuff like that um, that you see pretty much everyone use. I did have to pay for that one I think it was like less than a fiver or something like that. It was worth it though because I use it literally all the time. Those are the really cool ones as well but I haven't paid for them because <laughs> Yeah, DW1 looks really cool. The next app is Facetune. I'm not gonna lie to you. Obviously, everyone uses Facetune. I'm not gonna lie to you. Pretty much everyone does. If you think they don't, they're lying to you. Most of my friends do. No one is rats. Um, but I have to say that I feel like some people really do overuse it, and it can be very, very obvious. I mean, when you see a photo and it's completely airbrushed, obviously you're gonna know. I had the free one for so so long but in the last like month I splashed out and paid a fiver for I think it's Facetune 2 or Facetune 1 I don't know maybe the free one's Facetune 2 and this one's Facetune anyway there's not that much of a difference just the smoothing tool is better and that's the main thing that I use it for I feel like on the free Facetune sometimes your skin goes like grey when you airbrush it and that's like the main thing I use it for because my laptop never has enough memory on it to use the um, to airbrush on Photoshop, so I usually do that on my phone. So yeah, that's all the apps I have. I have so many photos and videos that I literally don't have space for anymore. I had so many more photo editing ones, but I just literally narrowed it down to the ones that I really, really need. So that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.